Alright, so in the last video, we learned about how to create our project and uh, we actually run our project on the server, which is actually running in the port. As you can see, 8000 in this place. So what we now want to do is write and install, um, make, uh, make use of the Laravel API configuration, which is we're going to make use of a package in Laravel called Sanctum. So head over to documentation, click on packages. Then down below there, you're going to see a uh, package, you're going to see something called Sanctum, which is right here. Click on this and we're going to follow the installation process in this place. So basically, you can head over down and we have to use Composer. So basically, I think Composer to include um, the Sanctum in our project. So by using Composer, require Laravel Sanctum. So at the end, we want the Sanctum package in our project. That's why we use the required. So let's wait for this to finish up. Great. Once this is done, next we can go ahead and do is uh, publish this thing. So, so we need to publish our our um, vendor assets, as you can see. So go ahead and do that. So it's going to copy the file from this particular part and copy it to where it is actually needed, which is in the configuration um, part. Once that is done, then we can go ahead and run artisan migrate, which we are not going to be doing that because we want to edit the default migration we have from which we are going to do in the next video when we start with the authentication part. So for now, we can go ahead to the kernel and we can copy all this here. Head over to the kernel. Kernel.php and you will notice that we have a code written there already. So basically what I want is just to uncomment this part and if you feel like, okay, it is not safe, you can basically do what I used to do. So I just want to place everything there. I mean, yep. So once that is done now, I believe, yep, so everything is done already. So to test this out, let's go ahead and open up our Postman. So I'm going to open up my Postman project here. All right, so you can see once it's opened up already, you're going to be having this. Uh, basically, when you use um, Postman before, yeah, you're going to be having different kind of stuff. So active for updating, I'm going to update later. So let's go ahead and click on plus. So before we do that, let's go ahead and write the basic routes. So head over to api.php and how am I doing the shortcut? In case you want to know, I'm using control P. So then I'll type in the name of the file I want to look for. So for this, I'm just going to do a uh, route, which is going to be a get request that I can point to, to the, uh, let's say tests. Okay. So what's in the test, we can go ahead and call function. One function is being called there, we can go ahead and do return. Sorry, return response. Okay, so don't forget to add your semicolon. One response has been returned, we can go ahead and say message, which is, um, I can go ahead and see that saying API is working. Then right here, we can go ahead and pass in status code of 200. And if you like, you can also pass the status code like a message, like we did in message. We are just going to pass it like this. So we should save this and we head over back to postman. Then now we can head over to one to seven exactly. So it's going to API slash. Then now as well as our route, our route is test. So let's go ahead and run this. Then is this is actually okay. This is actually break because I believe it's because uh, we are in now uh, from the route. So we basically we have from your controller, we need to set something. So let's just set it down so in case you get familiar. Accept. So, what type of file are we accepting? You are going to tell it I'm setting an application JSON for. It's as simple as that, and then your, everything is going to work well. So, you can see API is working. All right. So, if you like this tutorial, please make sure you like, subscribe, and in the next video, we'll be working with authentication. See you next time. Peace.